you all. And it's, as I told you in my email, we're not in the studio uh, this morning. We're actually in my car in the rain. And there's a reason for that, which I will explain in a second. So I'm just trying to set up my camera here. Um, so as you, as, you, oops, as you know, we have changed the name to The Wishing Well. And the reason No, for you that, haven't. It's not The Wishing Well. Oh, the art as well. I knew I'd make that mistake. <laughs> That's a pub down the road. <laughs> in Black Rock. <laughs> no, The Art as Well. And uh, I, have to, I have to give credit to Trina, who came up with that name, because it's an ingenious name. And it, it totally explains what we're, we're on about, or what I want to convey to you. And that is that it is a resource for artists um, to get inspired, to learn, um, to listen to other people in the business, uh, not necessarily just artists, um, but you know, people like Noel Campbell Sharp last week, people like her, um, where we get a, a great insight into how the artwork, the art world works um, and anything that can help us artists uh, to improve uh, ourselves and um, what we expect to get out of, out of our, our, our art. Um, now, the, one of the reasons this particular uh, session or episode is what it is, is because it goes back to when I did a residency in um, Kilreelig, Noel's place. And obviously, because she was there last week, I just thought, thought of this idea. And one of the lovely things that happened um, on that occasion was that on the last day, <clears throat> when we'd all finished our, our week or two weeks, however many, um, we all decided to get together in one of the seven cottages and have a supper. And each artist was to bring their own um, dish uh, along, the, you know, their sort of favorite dish or the one they found the easiest to make, I guess and um, to bring it to this particular cottage, number one, let's call it. So we all descended at seven o'clock on our last evening to cottage number one, uh, got to know each other, because some people are more private than others and others were more sociable or, you know, but everyone was there for solitude. Um, so we really didn't get a chance to talk to each other that much. And so we had a drink and uh, some lovely food. And then somebody announced, which we didn't realize was part of it, Okay, so we're going in a studio crawl. I thought, studio crawl, that's interesting. And what it entailed was that we went from literally one cottage to the next to visit each artist's individual cottage, during which time the artist in residence in that cottage would talk about their work, would show their work, talk about what inspired them, um, and all these things. And it was the most fascinating time uh, I mean, it was just so, so unique to get all these people who had completely different um, genre that they, they worked in, um, including the last one, which was uh, Autumn. And Autumn is, is a poet, a writer and a poet. And she gave a few renditions of some poetry for us, which was just spellbounding. I mean, it, it was incredible. So I thought, gosh, you know, Studio Crawl is such a wonderful idea. Um, and then, funny how things happen, uh, I thought, and remembered, I should say, a, a very kind invitation by a particular former student and artist uh, of mine who said, look, I've just built a new studio and um, I'd love if you came out to have a look and see what you think. Um, and I th thought, well, that's very nice. And she said, well, you know, bring all the gang, tell all the people in, in, in your, your group that they can come along. But of course, then COVID came and uh, it's no longer practical but on a one-to-one -one basis, which is why, you know, Trina wasn't coming as well, um, we can operate on a one-to-one -one basis very, fairly securely. We've sanitized and all the rest already. So I'm going to go in now and introduce who that artist is. Some of you will remember her from previous uh, episodes that we've done. And she's going to show us around her studio, um, show us why she set things in certain places and all of that, show us some of her work. And then we're going to sit down and we're going to talk about her influences and her early years in art, uh, what inspires her and so on, which I think you'll find very interesting. And um, the one thing I'd say is I, I'm sort of in a bit of a cliff edge in terms of how I approach this, because art being so visual, um, a podcast doesn't really translate everything you want to show 
uh, in terms of, of the visual aspect of an artist's work and so on. But in terms of the audio, or, or audible uh, end of it, yes, it can. So what I'm doing is I'm going to divide this up into uh, her showing all her work first. So that's the visual aspect. And then I'm going to ask her to sit down and we're going to talk in a way that will translate to a podcast. And I'll edit that uh, to, 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 to be exactly what I want it to be. So I hope you enjoy today's. Um, please think of questions that you'd like to ask um, during the course of it. And rather than sort of interrupt, um, either put a note saying, I'd like to ask, and then I might invite you, or simply I'll ask on your behalf if it's appropriate. I'm not sure how these things work out. We're not professionals at this. Uh, so bear with me, but I do hope you'll enjoy it and that you'll get a lot of, um, a lot of inspiration out of, out of this morning, okay? Alan, can I remind you to ch check the waiting room and let anybody in who needs to come in? Oh, thank you for that, because yeah. Trevor's there. Yeah. All right, he's joining now. And I think that's probably it, Trina. Yeah, I can't see anybody here. Okay, you might just make a note of the name so that I can write to, write to people. Yes, yeah. That. Trevor, good morning. Um, you will miss missed the introduction, but uh, we'd be sending out a link to the recording so you'll be able to come back and have a look at that. What we're going to do now is I'm sitting in my car and we're now going to go over to the studio and I'm going to introduce uh, today's artist and studio visit. Okay, so it's going to be a lot of shaking going on here so don't get too goggle-eyed when I get out of the car. I hope you all noticed that Alan got his hair cut especially for the occasion. Oh, yes, yeah. One of my daughters cut my hair and did a very good job of it. Extremely good job. I was getting fed up and the family wouldn't allow me to wear a ponytail. No, he kept stealing all our scrunchies on. Now, knock, knock. Good morning. Good morning. Is that Yvonne? Yes, it is. Hi, I'm Yvonne. Hi. So this is Yvonne Maloney O'Keeve. Yes. Um, some of you will remember her from the interview last week because we, you, 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 you said a few pieces last week. Uh, to camera, mm -hmm. so they'll remember you. Mm -hmm. um, but you are the person who very kindly asked if I'd like to come out and have a look, and then extended that to everybody. So given that's not practical at the moment, um, I thought, well, look, let's do it on Zoom, and um, we, you know, anyone can, can watch it. Yeah, you're very welcome. So, thank you. Yeah, it's lovely to share, especially in this COVID times, you know, because we don't have many visitors, mm. and it's just lovely to um, welcome everybody into my workspace. Very good. Mm -hmm. So, will we just go do a quick sort of look around or certainly. whichever yeah. way you want to do it? Yeah, certainly. Um, just to give you a bit of background uh, to the space, mm. uh, it's really only a year old since last June we got this place converted. Uh, it was a double garage and um, we knocked down a space here, the wall, the main wall between the two areas. And the guy who designed it was uh, Wesley O'Brien. He's not an architect, he's more an interior designer. But So the two of us had the same vision for it and uh, designed it kind of together to, um, to my needs, for my needs. Mm -hmm. So um, it's kind of divided into two spaces, really. The, the intention was that this space would be uh, more for a gallery and showing the paintings and uh, whatever in the work and that I could have many exhibitions here if I wanted to as well. Um, then this, this side, the other side, Alan, mm -hmm. is more of a workspace, but even though it extends anyway, so I work all, yeah. all around. But, um, so he, he designed it specifically um, for this area is higher than this area right and um he designed this that if you're working you can stand up mm -hmm. at a, an easel here or here i'd be sitting down um <clears throat> yeah what else is there? oh yeah they, i liked the way he, he designed the drawers i'm kind of quite organized really i like to be organized you are very organized <laughs> and i thought i was organized <laughs> <laughs> I know, uh, but it's lovely to have the space and have the drawers and have something for everything now. Yes. You know, for the first time in my life, really. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're all my colour pencils or whatever and uh, charcoal and whatever. So Fantastic. they're at hand, yeah. you know, that's the idea. Yeah. Wonderful. So I have my printer there, mm -hmm. my computer here, my sink over here. And uh, then this area was specifically uh, designed as well, uh, really 
for my needs. So I have my books, I have my uh, canvases on either side, mm -hmm. and then a storage space in there for books. That's not a bar in there, no? Um, well, I'm not showing you. Okay. <laughs> You're not allowed in there today. All right, fair enough, yeah. <laughs> Maybe after. <laughs> okay. And um, then, yeah, so you have a set of drawers. I was keen to have that because um, when you're not framing things or whatever, you yes. can then have uh, yeah. lovely space to spread out. That's fabulous. Yeah. That's fabulous. And all your books as well. And all the books, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. There's a few books anyway. Yeah. And yeah. canvases, mm -hmm. very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And then kind of my uh, materials and mediums there. I work in all mediums, really. Yes. But I'll be telling you about that as we go along. Fair enough, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Lovely. So do you want to show us a few things here maybe before we sit down? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, okay. just to explain, Whatever you like. Yeah. yeah, just to explain that uh, three years ago, we, well, no, maybe two years ago, we moved in up here. We were living in uh, Luxembourg for 13 years. So that was a long enough time. So mm -hmm. we came home then and we were back in Ternure in a different set up of a house and it wasn't suitable. I had no, no place really to work from. So we decided we'd look around. So we found this place then in September two years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, we settled it. Oh no, but what, what was lovely about it was this was the potential. It was a double garage. Yeah. And uh, so I saw the potential in that. And um, so it was June last year then uh, before we got it converted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, just to explain as well, that for the three years while we were moving from Luxembourg to here, nothing was settled, everything was in constant flux and packing and all of that. Mm. So, uh, what I decided to do was that in between that space, I could only work in it small, in tight space, and the same when I came home back for the first while. So I'd get my notebooks. I love collecting mm. notebooks. Yes. And um, I'd be doodling away on them. And then I kind of, just by default, really, um, I, I think experimentation is wonderful. Yes. And that's the first thing to say. I'm always experimenting, always changing, always changing styles. A difficulty with that in one way, but I like it for me. And um, to keep pushing, pushing the boat out and the boundaries. Yeah. So exploring. So I filled my notebooks, but that was really was little doodles. Mm. And I got this pen and ink. And uh, uh, I, first of all, just to explain, mm -hmm. I would put down some ink on the page. Can I go down and just yeah, look, yeah, up, look yeah, at some yeah, of these? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, and mm. I'd start off with some ink mm -hmm. and whatever type of different types of paper soaked it up in different ways. Mm -hmm. And um, then uh, out of that would come images, really. and. I was notorious for not putting people in my uh, paintings before. Yes. And suddenly here were all the images and faces coming out of um, the page. And if you look closely, okay, these then came out of the little notebooks and the bigger doodles and the bigger images. And if you'd want to be there for a while studying them and you get more and more and more out of them, mm -hmm. you know, they keep changing yeah. and layered and layered and layered and whatever. So that's just a little bit about that. Fabulous. Um, then Fabulous. of course, uh, yeah. um, because I grew up in County Clare mm -hmm. near the Burren, uh, the, I had my first big exhibition really was uh, the Burren and um, I had nothing very much left from those days, you know, the, these drawings here and uh, the dolmens and everything, wonderful space and uh, that was very successful. But, so I just have cards per se from that period mm. down there, we'll say, yeah. Lovely. These are my new set of cards that I've just got off the presses. Uh, flower designs. I've, I always come back to the theme of flowers again and, and again. And are they from the large canvases like up here? Um, or did you do them to that no, size? No, no. Actually, the original drawings are down here. Oh, are they? Oh, All right, okay. Yes. Right. Oh, those, yeah. Those are yeah. the ones there. Yeah. Uh, this was a flower. Sorry, I'm hopping a bit. No, that's fine. So Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, but uh, these were, th this was from uh, an exhibition up in Donegal. Yep. Of a holiday house up there. Yes. And uh, this was in Letter Kenny, mm -hmm. uh, Janet Ross's gallery at the time. And I had all flowers, big yep. flowers, all flowers. So I keep, you know, repeating that theme every so often, but not exclusively. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. So then, uh, where do we go? Um, 
Uh, what about the photography? Okay. Yeah. I'm very interested in photography. Yes. I love it. Adore it. I could be doing so that. So a bit like John Minnan who said yeah. his sketchbook is his, is his yes. camera. Yes. Oh, absolutely. You're much the Ab same. I'm absolutely the yeah. same. Yeah. Okay. I'm photographing people. I've, I've tons of photographs. All those of photographs for material for either to stand on their own or to blow up or yeah. whatever or else to work from. Yes. So that's my kind of resources. Um, I work all the time from my own photographs. And again, I think it's very important to work from your own stuff. I, I, I love that. I don't like copying from other things. Okay, yeah. you can learn, but I love to have my own material and say, at mm. least that's mine, you know, the photographs and the drawing and the painting and whatever. Yeah. So, um, Coming along to, I uh, talk about the photo, you can ask me about yeah. the photography as well. I, I think we'll do that during the sit down. Yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. absolutely. Yeah, and okay. stop me if I'm no, no, you're fine. too detailed. Yeah. And we have to keep our social dis oh, we are, distance as well. We well, we are, my, my arm is outstretched <laughs> with a camera at the end. Oh, it's So we're, we're, we're behaving ourselves yeah, very well. Exactly. Can everybody hear property? Yes. Just give a thumbs up, Trina. Sound is perfect, Adam. Yes, great. great. Okay, yeah. thanks. Thank you. Okay, okay that's good. good. Yeah. So, uh, just coming around here, probably then for, for photography. Yes. Um, I did this is fascinating. Yeah, I love that. I did a collaboration with my daughter, as it happens, yeah. who's a, a, conte a contemporary dancer uh, in Luxembourg. And uh, we, um, I had photographs blown up, really. I had a lot of these sizes. In yeah. My or whatever and um, I had some of my live drawings actually uh, she was the inspiration she was she was um, she had a, a piece with a partner and a Dublin singer she brought out as well for yeah. the music actually it was a nice collaboration and um, she but I have to say mother-daughter relationship she kept me at arm's length. I said, like, oh, I'd adore to um, uh, get in on this project to see and take some photographs and do whatever and uh, so she she let me into the studio for one hour yes and uh, I took millions of photographs in that hour and that's really all I had but from that I could just you know mm. I, could, I could go on so um, her theme was the wardrobe inside the wardrobe whatever and uh, so that's her little painting the original one from, yeah. from it mm -hmm. um, so uh, that was a, a very nice ex exhibition I love co collaborations as well I love all, all mm. the arts mm. really you know and uh, other themes of mine then would be bridges I did an exhibition of bridges in Luxembourg just to show the cross to, uh, you know crossing over from one country to another Alabama yeah. or whatever um, windows is another theme. Um, Do you want to flick open any of those? Yeah, yeah. Just a quick. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So very graphic. You see, I have various styles as well. Yes. Alan. And um, I go from the graphic to the painterly. You see, mm -hmm. actually, there's two examples now. Yes. That's pick and pastel. Quite different. Yeah, very, very different. Mm -hmm. And and in a way, it's a contradiction in my personality, I think. But mm -hmm. when I was opening an exhibition, uh, some exhibition, I said to them that, and I didn't mean to be egotistical about mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. but I just said that if you were looking around at the 40 paintings or mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. you would think that a different artist did each Really? It's yeah. amazing. Yes, yes, yes. I seem to have split personality. Yeah, when I'm that can be a benefit. I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> not for galleries, no. not for galleries. Oh really? Because they want, oh yeah, yeah, they want one style, a recognizable style. But if I'm in, in, improvising, experimenting, mm. pushing the boat out, trying different things, different mm. mediums, different um, uh, different surfaces, yes. uh, I, I, I like, it's exciting for me. But don't most different, artists go through various different phases or periods? They can go yeah. through different phases, but yeah. I kind of, I think my husband, Andrea, says mm. of me, I have the phases all together. Okay. At the same time. Yes, same thing, yes, you know. yes, yes, yes. Very good. But uh, so I just said for all the me's and me. I mean, everybody is a, is a complex personality, mm. and you're made up of different things. So I'm expressing myself in different ways yeah. at different times. So, but anyway, just sorry, to, just somebody you need to admit somebody else. Yeah. Okay. Right, sorry. Okay, yeah, yeah. Not at all. okay. So that, that's kind of just a yeah. Okay. Well, so look. Well, all right. Why don't we yeah. sit down then, and we okay. go through some of your 
early influences and so on. And at least I'll, I'll give my arm a rest from carrying this around exactly. and probably shaping and all the rest. <laughs> yeah. I've just got to show you this photograph here. You're, you're, you're using that garden. as a reference. Yeah. That's from your garden. That's from my garden, yeah. Yeah, the beautiful plume, thistles. Yeah. And uh, the bees were just buzzing around, of course. Yeah. Absolutely loved them. So, oh, one evening I set up my tripod and I uh, off I went and I did a shoot. Yeah. And then, I just to kind of illustrate that, I thought because the flower has a long, 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 so a very, very tall um, plant, yeah. uh, so I just tried. This is a watercolor or whatever that could go onto a painting or whatever. But again, I elongated the got a, a, a you know, yeah. just to try different sizes. I love different size canvases, different size, um, you know, not mm. to be boringly the same. And what do you use? You say watercolor. That, that, that pencil and watercolor. It, there's, yeah, there's pencil, pencil in it as well. And maybe some of my line drawings are coming out there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's happening. Do you yeah. know what I mean as well? Yeah. So just, it's uh, just working with the imagination and reference. Yeah. That's really Very how good. I work. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's settle down for a second. And take a sip of water. Do, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's try and get that set up. That's a, it won't move away. It's the first time a camera has been trained on this, so it's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, that's great. It's great. So you, everyone can hear. Thumbs up, Trina. Yeah. Yes, all good. Can I just remind people that if you put your um, screen on the speaker view, you have a much better image. I know it sounds, it seems... You know, yeah, speaker view as opposed to gallery or, or any oh, other view. Right. Yeah. Speaker view allows only you and Yvonne be seen. So yeah. I'm just going to switch off my mic and, and then you can see them. All right. Okay, that's great. Um, okay, so Yvonne, mm. can we go to your sort of early influences when you were growing up. Mm. Um, were you always involved in art? Mm. Were your parents involved? Mm. What, was, what, what was your upbringing mm. in that mm. sense? Mm. Without going into too much detail. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, like my father was, oh, he was many things and a, a bit of a character, but uh, he was an artist, not full time, but it was in the house morning, noon and night. He commandeered one of the bedrooms in the house very early on. My, I was the youngest in the family of four girls. And uh, he, um, he, he had one bedroom converted to his And unlike mine, it was not very organized and the bane of my mother's existence. Mm. Uh, so um, like my memory of him is uh, in there the paints everywhere, mm. um, the butts in the fireplace, and my mother was never allowed him to clean it, you know. Yeah. And she was as practical as he wasn't. Mm. And, uh, but it, definitely it was there, and we'd all be brought up and into the room to admire the mm. painting, the latest painting and all of that, right? Yeah. And another memory I have is that um, he used to uh, come, we used to go off to, on our holidays every year, mm. every summer, down to Kerry to Glenbeach. Did you live in Dublin? We, uh, no, 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 no. I, sorry, I, yeah. came, I come from Ennis County. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, just at the edge of the town. But mm. I mean, in their early, my parents' mm. early marriage, they, mm. my father, again, with artistic notions, mm. and he, um, they were caretaking a kind of a mini castle outside the town mm. and my mother again probably no electricity no yes. nothing you know <laughs> a really hard life but yeah. there he was and I had a gorgeous photograph somewhere yeah. of him uh, outside the house with the easel and he painting the, the house you know Fantastic. but they moved in when I was born they moved into town yeah and uh, but uh, so it was very artistic and um, uh, every summer we used to go to Glenway. Um, uh, my aunt owned the post office there. And what he would do is he'd drive down and then drop us all off uh, mm -hmm. with our cousins. We had great down there, which you might. But he took the car, he took his tent, and he, he took his easels and paints. And he went around the, the, the ring of Kerry. Yes, on his own. For, for a fortnight on yeah. his own. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, he pitched camp 
beside the rivers and lakes and paint it. And then by night, mm. he'd go into the hotels, the pubs in the hotels, mm. they all knew him. Mm. And he would, uh, he was a raconteur and whatever. Yeah. And he, he would sell his paintings to the Americans there. Oh, very enterprising. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was our- Amazing, mm. amazing. Mm. And sorry, did you say he was a teacher? Oh, he was a teacher yeah. by profession. By profession, yeah. <clears throat> and a soldier mm. and a magician. And a magician. And a musician. <laughs> And an artist. <laughs> so he was an all rounder. <laughs> bit like yourself, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. But we, we, we were so alike that we, we yeah. clashed a lot. Yes, actually, yes. Know, yes. But yeah. anyway, yeah. And was your mother yeah. involved in art at all? Our mother kept order. Yeah. She was the practical one. She okay. kept order and she kept the peace. Yes. All right. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> interesting okay. upbringing. It was a very interesting. Yeah. 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 And I used to always say because there were four daughters. Um, uh, and we were all a bit artistic, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, four daughters, and I was the youngest, yes. So I would say to my mother, I'm sure it was a wee disappointment that I wasn't a boy, that you yeah. know, he had a son, yeah. And in those days, yeah. and he being a soldier and quite macho, yeah. And um, uh, so, uh, but she would say, No, 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 he never gave out about that, but I always felt it, right? Did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. 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 Mm. Well, he'd be very proud of you with the sort of work you're producing now. Hopefully, you? hopefully, hopefully, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I got a, a little bit of talent I had yeah. Yeah. And my grandfather, actually, before him was oh, really? a painter as well. He was quite oh, so it's really in the blood, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. And tell me, um, just sort of going back to the drawing board, mm. I, I know you've an interest in drawing, and that's why you and I actually met in the first place. Exactly. Because you did my course, exactly. and then you did the charcoal course as yes, well. I did. Thank you for that. Yeah. But why did you do it? Because I mean, you're a very advanced artist. You know, why did you feel the need to <clears throat> yeah. go back to basics, go yeah. back to the drawing board? Yeah. Well, um, when I came back from Luxembourg, I was determined to do two things and to challenge myself mm. because I actually suffer from uh, something that you might not have heard of uh, called dyscalculia. I only recently uh, mm. discovered it, yeah. but um, it's a, a difficulty with. Mathematics, yes, numbers, yes. numbers. And um, so I used to always shy away from, mm. I always was interested in portraiture, mm. anyway, mm -hmm. and I was interested in the grid method. But, oh, I just, I thought it was way too technical. Yes. There was always a bit intuitive as an artist mm. and uh, very instinctive. Yes. And I kind of didn't have time for anything too rigid or too mathematical. But I said, I, I don't know why, I must have seen an ad, I think it was in Art Minds and Rap Minds. Oh place. yes, so that's I right, yeah, yeah, I did a few there, hey, yeah. Mm. Of course, and I picked up a book or something, and I said, you know what, I'm going to challenge myself, I'm going to do that, that's all you did, the grid method. Yeah. So I said, I'm going to do that, and... Um, and we did that in the Arts Club. Yes, we My did, memory's did. Right, yes. and it was the best yeah. thing I ever did. Yeah. Oh, you're only saying that now. No, I'm not only saying that no. And do you know what? This big instrument, my God, yeah. how, how did I not have it for so long? Because yeah. I'm just using it for every, even my little flowers now, though I don't need to be average, but it's still, I use yeah. it as a major instrument. Yes. And discovered, to my delight, mm -hmm. that the great man wasn't a parents. I should have been doing this years mm. ago, but anyway, it was just great. Mm. Alan? Yes. Yeah. Yes, Prina? Yeah. How are we going? I, no, we might be off air or something. Mm. Uh, Trina, can you not hear me? Can anybody hear? Um, no, can hear you and see you. Alan? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Alan? Sorry, just one second. Yeah. Can't seem to get. No, well, yeah, but, but Alico can get me, Lynn can get me. So maybe it's just your signal. Get you, but your audio is gone and can't get you. Oh, no, sorry. Audio seems off. Oh, that's me. Okay, listen, it's that's just good. me. So. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. I'm you're so right. sorry. Okay, no, thank you. If anyone has any problems, please just drop them yeah. in the, uh, the chat, okay? Thanks, Prina. In the thingy. Okay, fine. Um, Sorry about that. That's, we're good to go. We're good to go. <laughs> Sorry. Right, where were we? Uh, 
So all the, mm. the, the course I did with you. Yeah, you know, yeah. That oh, and, and that's the portional divider, yes. which you can't get in Ireland. Yes. You know, yeah. no, and, and uh, just yeah. interestingly, we can only get that from America. So anybody who's asked me, um, I, you know, got them in from America and, and, and tried to defray the, the carriage costs, which are mm. as expensive mm. as the actual item right. itself. Mm. Yeah, but at the moment, I'm actually talking to a 3D printer in Dublin to see if he can actually make them for me to order. So if he can do that at the right price, I think we're, we're on a bit of a winner there. Okay. Now. All right. So, sorry, let's go back to that. Um, so you, 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 you did this course and you got a lot out of it. And how did it help you? It helped me with the lightness you know, yes. um, I, I read it because I could always make a stab at work it. Mm -hmm. Get the actual lightness. Yeah. That's what you do. Yes. Yeah. And it was like magic. You know, it really was. And so it's been very, very helpful. The other thing I did when I came back was a photography, a few photography courses. Because again, we adore photography, but mm -hmm. I did technical. Yes. And that's kind of what stopped me from studying. So I said, nothing like starting a new, new life, a uh, new leaf, yes. and uh, off I went and did it. And, and something went in, you know, mm -hmm. something went in. So, yeah. because, uh, it, it's a little bit easier now. Mm -hmm. Along with the, the mm -hmm. So, you know, you have to try and mm -hmm. challenge yourself when you go from I know you mentioned to me that, yeah, you, you mentioned to me that you're, you're fascinated by the likes of, of uh, Picasso and David Hockney, um, yeah. about their abilities to draw, that they were fantastic uh, draftsmen, effectively, before they, they branched out and did what they wanted exactly. to do. Exactly. You know. exactly. If you go back to the yes. early work. Alan? Yeah. I'm so sorry to interrupt again. Um, the sound is muffled from Yvonne, and a number of people are feeling that. I'm, I'm hearing yeah. you all perfectly again, but Yvonne's sound is muffled. Yeah. Is there anything that you can do with that? I'll just put it near you. Yeah. And maybe just, that yeah. that's much better, Yvonne. Thank you. Okay. Speak up a tiny bit more. Yeah. 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 Because we can hear you clearly, Alan. It's Yvonne that we're having problem with. Oh, oh then maybe, maybe it's the, the computer. Camera, yeah, the camera. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, and not, not the computer. Okay, well, there. Oh. Sorry, I'm not putting that in there. Yeah, no, 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 and Alan Malachy is also saying not everyone else is muted. So if you can just ask everyone to mute their microphones as well. Yeah. Okay, if you wouldn't okay. mind. Thanks. This is lovely. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to mute all again and then unmute us. Okay, can you hear us now? Yes, okay. There's nothing worse than a muffled sound. No, and I think that's yes. picking up your sound. That's okay. only the vision. And I thought it was the other way around. Oh, yeah. I thought it was both. Okay. Yeah. Look, we're all on a learning curve here, aren't we? Totally. <laughs> it's difficult. Okay. Yeah. Okay, not too close, Alan. I mean, the camera. Yeah, no, so that's fine. That's fine. There. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so, yeah, so the, 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 they're obviously. Oh, oh Picasso and Hockney. Yeah. I adore Hockney, of course, but yeah. because he's very experimental and he goes with the times and he uses his uh, computer, etc. Mm. But But if you go back to their early works, and the proof of a good artist for me is if they can draw really, really draw. Yeah. And uh, so I really, when I came, when I opened the studio, I, mm. I, I went back to the, literally went back to the drawing board. And so my method of practice really is, and that's why I have no paintings of, for the past year, I haven't mm. painted as such yes. on canvas. <clears throat> uh, I did all my backup research and then I started on all my themes. I usually have loads of themes in my mm -hmm. head, you know, mm -hmm. but I work in themes normally. Yes. So I go from kind of with my camera as well, I go from the general to the zooming in of the particular. That's the way I okay. work right. very often. Yeah. And uh, so I started, we'd say, on the I have aerial photography, just coming across. Uh, mm. Aerial photography is another uh, one I'm mm. interested in. Uh, windows, reflections, flowers, um, music, uh, all sorts of subjects. But anyway, I started with a few of them since I started here in this space. Yes. And um, uh, I 
I, sorry. Okay? No, no, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. Um, so I started with just pencil drawings. Yes. And then um, I aim, anyway, my aim is to um, do so many of various themes. I can mm. work aside on together, you know, mm. all together really. Yeah. And uh, then I will go on to maybe trying out another medium like watercolor, watercolor, yes. uh, pastels, yes. uh, oil pastels normally. Mm. And then the paintings are kind of the last thing, I suppose the mm. most difficult in, in a sense. And uh, so from now, I think I'm ready to start on paintings from now. So I've kind of given myself an, uh, a year. Mm. And uh, off I'll be then. So, uh, and what medium will you, will you use, do you think, for that? Uh, oh, good question, mm. because again, limitations. Yeah. Um, I have tried all mediums in my time, but, and I probably went straight into oils yeah, at the beginning. Yes. But I found that I was very allergic and very sensitive mm. to the uh, linseed oils, the turpentines, the the, the turpentine, mm -hmm. the uh, fumes. Yes. Oh, I thought yes. it was just too much for me. Yeah, solvents and, the solvents yeah. and all of that. I'm very sensitive to these things mm -hmm. and a lot of allergies and that. So I kind of gave that up. But then, yeah. of course, I found, discovered um, artisan range, which I think you said you. Yeah, yeah, I won't use anything else. Yeah. Because well, I don't, I don't, I don't want so, to have that sort of the solvent, exactly. turpentiney smell in, exactly. in the studio. Yeah, exactly. Because the next person coming in might yeah. be drawing, yeah. and they have to whiff all this yes. stuff. No yes, way. Exactly. So that that I think it's called Georgian. Winsor Newton do a thing called Georgian. Yeah. And they're water mixable or water soluble yeah. things, yeah. and it. they also have the advantage is that you can clean up in oh, seconds. You wipe great. your palette clean. And I don't know the science behind it. I don't mm. know how they have achieved it. It's something that. to do with putting it's in oil soap. Paint, but it's putting it? in a type of soap. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's oil paint, but, mm. uh, but it works like acrylic, really, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, it is, it, it is it, a bit. Yeah. But, it, but if, you, if you use it raw, yeah. um, it, it, it acts exactly like oil. In that yeah. it, it takes the same amount of time to dry. So exactly. From that point of view, it's not like acrylic at all. It, well, yes, but once yes, you yes, thin yes. it out with water, yeah. and I think there's also some other medium that you can use with it uh, that's non-toxic and, yeah. and, and all of that yeah. and uh, that is probably a preferable thing to, to use yeah. otherwise it can dry up quite yeah. quickly and actually the same thing with because a lot of people have said my line drawings and that which yeah. um, I, I hope you can hear me now um, uh, the line yeah, dra drawings w would be suitable for etching lithography oh, right, I yes. adore mm, lithography really? as well oh yeah absolutely and I go down to the gallery and tell bar yes. uh, to see all their work and mm. all of that mm. but and I've done little courses on it yeah. but again the fumes from the yes. whatever yes. The things they're using yeah. uh, just very toxic it's very toxic very toxic particularly with that sort of printing so yeah. I kind of looked into um, having uh, somebody I think is doing um, non-toxic stuff now nowadays because Are they? you know, they're yet yeah, discovering yeah. so if there was I think I would do mm. some of that as well I remember Trina and I visited a place and they were doing this um, light of printing or whatever, um, printing. but it was, you know, the smell was just overpowering, uh, I mean, yeah, really yeah, overpowering. Yeah, exactly. So it did stay long there. Um, okay, this, that's, that's been fantastic and a great insight mm -hmm. into your life and into your work and the diversity of your work and mm -hmm. so on. And um, you've certainly filled a well, mm -hmm. you know, you're <laughs> plenty to draw from, if you'd excuse yeah. the pun. Uh, so I think before we, we, can, we conclude, um, is there anybody who'd like to ask Yvonne any question at all at all? I know you're all very shy out there and you're on mute, but all you need to do is either unmute your button, which you can do. Um, unmute. Yeah, just un unmute, unmute your button and ask a question. Can I kick off, Alan? Yeah, why not? Yeah, sorry, Yvonne, lovely to see you again as well. This has been fascinating. Absolutely love your studio. And, and, and I love the idea that you've somewhere that you can go to, to just be, you know, with everything that you love in order to facilitate your work. I noticed that you, you, did, you said two things just briefly. I also adore notebooks. I have an addiction to notebooks. I just have to have them and I can't pass a stationary office without looking at them. Um, so what I love is that, uh, firstly, that even when your space was small, when you were in the transition uh, of the houses, that you, you, you were drawn to your creativity by using the notebooks and you knew to, to use that. And, and that 
you know, brought you so much uh, wealth of riches and, and, and the rest of it. And I love that idea because you have that. So that means that, uh, I take it that means that almost anywhere, if you have a drive to create, you'll find some way or means of doing that. Exactly, Trina. Um, it's very interesting because it brings me back to, a flashback to when I was having a baby. Mm -hmm. And the time of, you know, you couldn't create or whatever, you couldn't paint, or you couldn't. And uh, I found those years terribly tough. <laughs> the, 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 you know, two children, had, but anyway. And, uh, but what did I do? I did a little garden. We only had a tiny postage stamp in the front garden. Mm. But I created curves. I think my sister helped me or something like that. Planted a few little flowers. I couldn't paint. I couldn't do my courses. You know, I, I was doing a lot of courses in the NCAD all, all along. And um, I, I, I had to create. And uh, that was my little way of doing it. Mm. So definitely, it, no matter where. And I, I, you're right when I was confined in my little space and when I came back from Luxembourg because we had an open space and we were kind of in the countryside there too, even though it was very near the city. But um, uh, I had fields and openness, very open country there mm -hmm. anyway. Yes. And when I came uh, back, it was the urban terrainure, you know, big, ha uh, tall houses. And I remember looking out the window and seeing the backs of other houses with the windows and I, was, I felt really claustrophobic. But that's when I got my, and I had nowhere, only a small little bedroom or something to work out on the top floor. And uh, so that's when I got my little notebooks and started creating windows. So windows was uh, mm. uh, uh, immediately a theme uh, from that as well. So you're right, it will out, you know, no matter what. I think if I was in prison in a cell, mm -hmm. I would be, mind you, I'd miss color because I adore color. Uh, but I think I'd find something to, 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 to work on. You know, you can create in any place. Yeah. Okay, we have a question here. Mm -hmm. um, amazingly generous of you, Yvonne. It's so interesting to hear the story and see the range of methods it works. Uh, not even slightly jealous of the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it, it took a long time to come. Indeed, yeah. indeed. Very good. Thanks for that, Bridget. Virgine, sorry, Virgine. Um, any other questions there before we conclude? No? Can I just say oh, one, one more? Second. There's something else here. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's a gardening <laughs> question, Morning. <laughs> <laughs> can we, can we, can we refer you to Dermot Gavin? Yeah. She's being interviewed by Dermot Gavin <laughs> next uh, Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. The same to pay now, the, the same to garden. Okay. Um, what was your, the best thing you've got when designing your studio? What was the best thing you've got? This is from Lynn when designing your studio. In other words, what was something that you really said, oh, I really want this, and my God, we got it, and it turned out the way you wanted it. Yeah, I think I, that's what you mean, Lynn. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think this space here, the, the, the units for everything, you know, that there was a place for everything. That and the drawers, is that what you mean? Yes, I think so. Yeah. I think so. I mean, you know, what, what really kind of said, this is what I love yeah, they, about I, it. I'm yeah. drawn to that because I have my books, shelves, and I have my canvases on either side, yeah. and I have my little storage for cameras and things like that, and then yeah. the little drawers. So even if you had just that on its own, yes. Yes. you'd have, you'd have organisation. I Absolutely. I like organisation, yeah. you know. Yeah. I think I'd never have uh, survived in Bacon's studio. Oh, my father's. Yeah. That's great. Thanks for that. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Owen McLaughlin says. Oh, oh yeah. I, I sent an email to Owen. So Did you? Yeah. yeah. And his paintings are absolutely fantastic. And uh, Malachi says, mm -hmm. wonderful. Thanks, Yvonne. And Alan, yes, thanks. I love the drawers. I love the drawers. <laughs> yeah. That's the, that's from Owen. Very good. Um, have you ever experienced imposter syndrome? And if you have, how do you deal with it? Who's, who asked that? That's a great question. Sorry, let me just... Oh, I'll answer if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Marquetta. Well done, Marquetta. I like it. Have you experienced imposter syndrome? Oh, that somebody copied? No, no, that, no, no, that, no, no, that you feel as if you're a fraud. And, oh, and sure. That, yeah. oh, oh, don't, don't be too quick about it. Don't be too quick. All the time. <laughs> All the time. 
Well, I think for me, Alex, yeah. because I have so many different styles, yes. that's why I feel it all. Okay. Because at this age in my life, wouldn't you think that I'd stick to one style and be recognized for one style? Yeah. I, I, mm. I think I'm unusual in that. Yes. Because a lot of other artists, and I question myself the whole time, my husband doesn't know, he thinks I'm schizophrenic, you know, that yeah. I have so many different styles. Yes. And, uh, and I'm not a jumping around type of person, like really. Mm. I can do something in great detail, and as you see the pen and ink, I could be for hours doing the one thing. So why do I do all sorts of, I think it's because I have such an interest in different areas of life. Yes. Yes. There's so much out there, and we've only one little life to live it. Yeah. You know, something like that. Well, you certainly but, grabbed it. I mean, yeah, yeah, but, but, but mm. I'd say a judge or a jury or whatever that would come in here would, would say, oh, it's too busy, oh, it's too many different styles. You know, I think I, the other I, thing, you know, sorry for interrupting you there. Yeah. So the other thing when you're talking about imposter syndrome is, is a sort of a fear of, of um, criticism or rejection. Okay, I'm not afraid of that at no, all. No, that's interesting, no. okay. I, yeah. I'm not afraid of that. No. I'm not afraid of that, isn't that a funny thing? Um, I'll show my work to anybody and I, I won't put out anything that mm. I'm not proud of because there's loads of rejects yes. and loads of everything. Yes. But um, I'm not, I'm kind of self-assured inside, okay. you know, in that I know mm. what I'm doing yeah. and I know that it's genuine and truthful, mm. kind of mm. and honest mm. in what I'm trying to do. Other people may like it or not like it, mm. criticize it or not, and I'll probably take it a bit personally, but uh, it's all subject, art is so subjective. Very and subjective. as long as you're doing and expressing yourself mm. the way you want to, I think that's okay, that's all you need to know. Yeah. And, and you know, damn the rest, like really. Sure, uh, no, no, that's you know, a very, very healthy attitude. Yeah. Um, Mary Curtis is saying to everyone, lovely way to spend Saturday morning. Thank you, Mary. Yes, it is, isn't it? And Bridgette, Burn says, amazing space and beautiful work. Do you have a pattern to how you work? Or is yes. it a set time each day? A very good oh, question. Right. I meant to ask you that, actually. Yeah. Thanks for that, Bridget. Um, yeah, do, yeah, you know, are you disciplined? Uh, very. Are you sort of yeah. nine to five? Yeah. Or are you I, 12 to, <laughs> to 12? Yes, exactly. <laughs> I would be 12 to 12 yeah. if I could. Yes. I, I'd just be here. Um, but are you a good morning person, in other words? I, I am a good, yeah. I am a very yeah. early riser. I don't sleep too well, I dream too much. Yeah. Uh, but when I come in here, it's my organization. I, you know, I can get it all out here. So I can be 10 hours. I've been here till one o'clock, two o'clock uh, in the morning. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. But, so I could put five, seven, 10 hours a day. I, I, yeah. But I, I, I come here every day. Do, every day? Boilingly. As in yeah. I mean, six I, days a week? Five, oh, yes. Seven? Seven, seven. Really? Seven, oh, seven, good on seven. you. Okay. Orla, Orla Quinn says, as a beginner, I find all the material struck mediums available to me a bit overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Any recommendations for somebody starting out? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd pick up a pencil, right? I'm sorry, I'm biased. Going back to the drawing board, and Yvonne said it, yeah. and a lot of artists will say it. Your skills in drawing are the foundation of any medium you choose to follow uh, after, as any genre, or whatever you it want to call it. Doodling. Copying, yeah. So I would get simply a set of pencils, a range of different um, values of pencil, from the H's to the B's, mm. and de some decent um, paper for doing good work, mm. and some not so decent paper for scribbling. Yeah. Come up with ideas and do that, and then work from there, and then it will not be overwhelming. And um, Alico, mm. fantastic interview, I think. And your flowers are stunning. Colors Thank just you. jump out. Thank you very much. Thanks, Alico. That's lovely. Thank you both, Orla. Thank you. I'm sorry I have to go. Somebody's at the door. Or get her. Well, answer it. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Listen, I think that's, I hope I haven't left anybody out. Um, if not, sh if I have, shout, please. Otherwise, I think we've had a lovely morning here. Thank you so much, Yvonne. You're very welcome. Um, it's very been welcome. an absolute pleasure yeah, talking to you. Um, yes. I'm so sorry to interrupt you. Just before you go, because Yvonne showed us the cards that she had available there earlier on, and, yes. and they were fabulous. So, uh, do you have just, you probably said this before, Yvonne, but are they available for us to, to yes. see? Have you got them online? Yes. Um, yeah, you did. Now, um, uh, Yvonne's daughter has helped her produce a new website. Which, during COVID, so it's yeah, great. which yeah. We, we said we'd mention. And what we'll do is 
we'll put it up on um, social media as well, just referring to this um, interview and so on. And those of you who have a pen or pencil, um, if you get it at the ready, I'll tell you what it is. Uh, and I'll just spell it out. It's Y M for Mary, O C artist, A R T I S T dot com. So that's Y for Yvonne, M for um, Maloney, of course, yeah. Uh -huh. O C for Oquive, artist dot com. And again, I'll have that down, so don't worry too much if you can't take it down. And her Instagram is at Yvonne, Y V O N N E underscore art okay so that's and Trina the the um just to say that we haven't set up a paypal yet on the website it's very very fresh and new so she's working on that but if if anybody wants to email me I will give them bank details or whatever and I take uh, orders for the cards yeah so I have the burn set it's all up on the website now and you have those dolmens because I love the dolmens as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Yvonne. That's super. Lovely Thank interview. You very much, Trina. All right. There's, there's a good and few thank yous from Lynn, from Trina, from Moreland, and, and everybody else. So mm -hmm. uh, let's, let's leave it there. Thank you so, so much. Oh, um, it was, it was well. great. I hope you enjoyed I it. I did, I did, I did. It's there's no point doing it if you don't enjoy it. <laughs> Not so that's great. Sure. And just, uh, I suppose, by way of, of concluding, I'd like to say if anybody's got any ideas, for what they'd like to see. After all, it is the art as well. It's very much up to you to make of it what you, you want it to be. And therefore, if you have any suggestions uh, of people, even you, Yvonne, if you know of other people uh, in the art world who, who would make a good interview and uh, who would be able to uh, inspire us all, you know, please let us know. Drop me a line, alan at aka.ie. And um, see, you know, just, you know, it, might, it might be somebody that you suggest, but it might be a topic that you'd like to suggest. So either way, we'd love to hear from you. Okay, so thank you all very much for coming along. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and we'll see you next Saturday with another surprise because we didn't know about this surprise till last Tuesday. So we're really kind of, you know, living in the edge. All right, take care everybody and thank you. Bye bye.